everybody, it's Tina. So I am working on a protection spell and I just wanted to share this uh, with you guys. This one is actually for my assistant um, because she knows she's working here with me and you know we're working around all kinds of different spirits and things like that all the time. So we just wanted to put a strong protection spell on her so that she is protected you know, from any sort of negative energy vibrations or any spirits that you know, may not have the best intentions. Typically we don't see that here in this house, but it can happen. And then I'm also going to add some stuff on here to protect her from people that are here. I mean, they still are energetic beings, right? But um, people like, um, you know, that, that she may come across in her day-to-day -day life um, as well. So uh, first thing I did is I took a white figure candle and I carved her name, her full legal name and date of birth in this five times, okay? And I just kind of went around the bottom here of that and just did it, you know, over and over again. Um, so now what we're gonna do is light some dragon's blood incense. You could use um, frankincense or myrrh. You could use, uh, there's a lot of protective um, incense, but dragon's blood is really, really good for that. It's very strong. So I'm gonna light a little cone here. I'm scoot these bay leaves over. All right, let me grab my matches. And from that, we're gonna consecrate consecrate the candles. So essentially, when, when you're consecrating a candle, you are making it the mind, body, and spirit of the person that you are working with. Let's see. It's a lot easier to use a lighter. So you can use a lighter if you prefer when you're lighting candles and incense and things, but matches are traditional uh, traditionally what you would use and there's some you know folks that say it's not as effective if you use a lighter so i just stick with matches just for just to keep the authenticity and tradition going of that all right blow that out and then basically just stating you know rub the candle through the smoke and stating you know you are the mind body and spirit of okay and their name and do that several times for protection spells, you would generally, I, I would say do it five times. I work with number magic a lot, so I try to keep everything, you know, in line with what I'm trying to do. So it would be, you are now the mind, body, and spirit of blank, you know, five times, okay? I'm just doing that now. All right. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm just gonna leave the incense burning here on the plate, and then I am going to grab a couple of oils. I have my Fiery Wall of Protection oil that I sell in the shop, and this is a wonderful way to use it. Um, typically for spill work, you can use it around your home as well. Um, you can put like, you know, three dots on your window sills, um, doors around the door frames, things like that to keep negative energies out of your homes. You can also add it to candles. So like this candle here, um, this is just a regular like Bath and Body Works candle, but I can put five drops in. Two, three, four, five. And now that makes it a protective candle. Okay, so we've got five drops here on the candle. And generally what you want to do, let me get the oil up at the top, is start at the top and rub down. So you would want to coat the head and then, you know, kind of really work your, work the energy into it. And as you're rubbing the oil in, you would want to um, uh, envision or, or say, you know, what you're trying to do. Some people pray, um, but you would just say, you know, you are now protected, you are now protected, you are now protected, you know, you're protected by a fiery wall, um, no no evil can come to you or harm you in any way, that type of thing. And then again, you're starting at the top and then working your way down the candle until it is completely coated, including the bottom, all right? Just wanna make sure, totally, totally coated. All right, next I'm gonna use, this is from a company called The Keeping Room. This is a, like a manufactured oil. It's not a um, handmade one like we do here in the shop, but um, this is something that I bought before I started making conjure oils myself. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that just for fun, just for a little bit of added boost. 
and that one's called Fierce Protection. Sorry about the background noise, guys. Say a little prayer, hopefully they're okay. All right, and again, starting at the top and working your way all the way down. All right, next thing I have is hyssop. So hyssop is a purification uh, oil or herb. It's a very, very old traditional herb, referenced a lot in the Bible um, for those that that means anything to. And um, it's it was known for cleansing away negative energy vibrations and purifying people. So, um, so I'm gonna use some of this oil here, and this is an oil actually from Jerusalem. I got it online, but uh, I love it. It, it smells wonderful like I actually think I might I want to sell it in my shop because it's it's amazing so I'm working on maybe maybe doing that so um, I'm just gonna rub the candle here all the way down all right and then since I have oily hands I'm gonna go ahead and take the supporting candles that I'm gonna be using and rub the rest of that oil into those We got that done. So, just wipe my hands here. Now we're gonna add some herbs to, to her, okay? So one of the strongest and most common herbs you can use for protection is gonna be rosemary. And I use it a lot in different things. It's also good for money work, but um, very, very good for cleansing and protection work. So I have some dried rosemary here. If you have fresh, that's even better. I usually keep a rosemary plant outside, but it has not, uh, made it through the winter. I need to get another one, but I'm waiting until it, you know, gets a little bit warmer. It's been it's been down in the 30s here in Florida, which is pretty crazy. It never gets that low. So I am just gonna coat her in some rosemary. Okay. All right. Next thing I'm gonna do is. Um, add, I've got a couple of different ones here and there's there's a million different herbs you can use for this kind of stuff, guys. This one's called Periwinkle or Sorcerer's Violet and one of the, um, it's you can use it for a bunch of different things. You can see there, attraction, love, sex, passion, money, protection is one of the things that it's used for. So I am going to add a little bit of that to her. Start at the crown again and work our way down. Right. And the next one I'm using is called Willow White. Let me just take the tag off here. And this one is known as the Witch's Aspirin for all magic, moon magic, love, money, protection, and success of rituals. So we're not only adding an additional layer of protection here, we are also adding um, an element of uh, like success for this for this spell okay so we, we want this to work obviously it's important so um, it adds a boost of power to the spell as well all right and I'm gonna just take that and again starting at the crown work my way down all right so got that done all right so now I've got a couple of bay leaves, actually three. Okay, again, working in lucky numbers. I'm gonna place those around her. Bay leaves are very good for protection. You can actually burn uh, bay leaves in your home for protection, use it as kind of like an incense. They burn pretty crazy. I've shown it a few times on the channel, but um, burning them is really good. It's good for money, it's good. The bay leaves are amazing. So that's be another common kitchen herb that you can get um, if you are doing work for yourself at home. Next, I'm taking some sea salt here and I am just gonna put this in a circle around the figure candle, all right? Just starting here, don't need a ton, but enough to make a complete circle around her. All right, all right the next thing I have is black salt. Now what this is, is sea salt, but I have included into it um, the ashes that uh, from the remnants of the ancestor money that I burned. So I burn ancestor money 
pretty frequently, and that is an offering to spirit. And so I save the ashes all in one little bowl, and then I take those ashes and I mix them with sea salt, and that is how you make black salt. And black salt is very protective. You can use this um, in spell work, you can use this around your house. One of the common things that you kind of see, there's like chunks of ashes in there. Um, one of the common things to do is to um, like put some in the four corners of your home to protect and guard you against evil or anything like that. Any sort of negative energies that we don't want in here. All right, so we're using it now to protect her in a spell. All right, so got that in another circle around her. Let's see what else we got here. Oops. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, take the supporting candles and you can do this a couple of different ways. You can melt the bottom of this and stick it all around her, but I find it to be much, much easier if you dip it in a working candle, kind of like I'm doing here, and then stick it to the bottom. And this is, I use this technique all the time um, it's just 10 times easier than sitting there and try and you know melting the bottom of each of the candles it just is so much quicker so we're gonna place all five of these in a circle around her too tiniest bit and scoot some of the salt up too okay all right the last thing that we're going to add is some carnations now for those of you that have worked with me and those of you that follow what I use what I do with my magic I always well maybe not always, I think, I mean, pretty much always add carnations to my spell work. It's um, one of the oldest, you know, historical flowers that, uh, documented flowers, okay? They, they've been around since, you know, it's like in the BC era, basically, but they are very, very powerful and they add a big boost of power to your spell. Um, and that is any spell, you can use them for everything, money work, love work, uh, dark work, I mean, all of, all of it, okay? So carnations are very, very good to use um, for your magic, and I, pr I pretty much include them in every spell that I do in some form or fashion. Um, usually like for you know that you can use different colors for different things there's white there's red there's a million colors of carnations but i just i love having them around and i use them constantly so um also these are an offering to spirit so we're going to place those on the plate i'm just fluffing up the petals a little bit here I'm trying not to burn this incense or burn the flower with the incense there Okay. All right, so we are ready to <clears throat> light her. Now, I get her lit. Okay. So she is underway. So here's the thing. If you are if you are doing this at home, one of the ways to make this even more effective for you is to um, bury the remnants of the wax once it melts and is completely done. So you take the flowers, the salt, the wax, all of it, um, and bury that in your front yard, um, if you can. If you can't, you could even put it in a potted plant in your house or on your balcony, okay? Um, but burying it on your property, whenever you're trying to bring something in, such as protection or money or love, when you're doing those types of spells, um, you can bury those in your front yard and that will add a boost of power to the spell. If you're trying to banish something, you get rid of it either by throwing it into living water, so that would be like a river, um, a stream, the ocean. Obviously, you know, we don't want to pollute, guys. Wax is biodegradable, but use your best judgment. You will get arrested for littering or in trouble for littering if you're caught doing that, so so don't, don't be silly. Um, but that was traditionally how you would dispose of those things. Um, 
or uh, you can bury it in the back of your property if you're trying to banish something. There's there's different 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 strokes for different folks, right? Everybody's going to tell you something different, but um, that is a couple ways you can get rid of it. The other thing you can do is um, just thank the items for its magic, thank Spirit for their help, and then you can actually just throw that in the garbage because it's it, the spell is complete, right? Like those are no longer. Um, needed essentially so it's it's okay to throw them away if that is if that is pretty much your only option as well um so you know a bunch of different ways to dispose of them that's another common question that i get how do i dispose of this and and that would be it all right guys well thank you so much for watching i appreciate it if you are interested in this spell or any other spell really i've got a ton listed um over in my etsy shop that will be linked down below uh thank you all so much for watching i wish you all love and many blessings and i'll talk to you soon bye